There's been a lot of talk lately about TV, internet streaming, and regulating it all to carve out a space for Canadian culture. In English Canada, we get lots of American TV and movies. Some of it's pretty good too, but left unchecked, American studios dominate the world of English language news and entertainment, including Canada. We need to keep a media space for Canada, a window into our own country, telling stories of our history, our diversity, our frontier, our indigenous peoples. Those movies and programs don't get made by American studios. They only get made right here in Canada. But of course, that takes money. For a generation, we had it figured out. We regulate television so that compelling Canadian content gets made and gets on the air. In regulated TV, Canadian cable companies that make money broadcasting everything, including American-made programs, must contribute 5% of their revenue to the Canada Media Fund, which finances Canadian film, Canadian programming, and local news. That's about $440 million every year for Canadian content, but it's dropping fast as viewing habits shift away from cable to the internet. The situation is getting worse. Under former Prime Minister Harper, the federal TV regulator, the CRTC, began dismantling the regulatory system a little at a time on the grounds that the internet is unregulated, so TV should be as well. Canadian content supporters have a different idea. If the future of video is streaming over the internet, let's extend the 5% levy on cable TV revenue to include internet revenue. After all, the big Canadian media companies sell us video entertainment over cable TV and the internet, sometimes both at the same time through the very same fiber optic cable coming into our homes. Extending the 5% to the internet seems like a no-brainer, and not surprisingly, a special committee of members of parliament agrees. The federal cabinet, however, does not. Not yet. They need to hear from Canadians. Canadian storytelling needs your support. I'm Howard Law for Unifor, representing 12,000 journalists and media workers in Canada. To get more information, click on mediaactionplan.ca and go to the analysis page.